right, it's what we live for, folks. Uh, year after year, it seems we all get, a bunch of us radio guys, people that are still passionate about radio, get together for a uh, little lunch. And this is the second year in a row at... Yeah, the Smokehouse right here in uh, Burbank. Yes, and I'm with my friend, Shotgun Tom Kelly. That's right. You better believe it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we're just down from the uh, Burbank studio. That's right. Warner Brothers. And uh, so... And we're uh, we're here to have a good time. We got a bunch of people inside. Oh boy, do we ever! Wait till you see this. Wait till you see how many people are in there. They're all waiting for us. So we're gonna go inside. Take the, turn this microphone over uh, to who? Randy West. Randy, what's going on? It's to you. That's right. He's uh, been doing uh, Price is Right road tour. That's right. All over the country, and he's back here in L.A. So let's turn it over to you. Go ahead and do the honors. Randy West. Randy. Thanks, Art. Randy West here, the end of 2012. You know, I just got back from Washington, D.C. I, I picked up a hooker. I refer to her now as the fiscal clit. Oh, you want to use that? Sure, we'll go with it anyway. Hey, it's the end of 2012. As I say, that means Art Volo's in town. It means it's very close to New Year's Eve. And at the end of the year, we all give thanks by bringing all the big voices, the big radio talent together for the annual lunch at the Smokehouse. This is awesome because everybody who's anybody is here. Well, here we are at the Radio Anonymous meeting. Yeah, it, there we go. It's a big 12-step group where uh, we've learned to come that we're powerless over Clear Channel. That's right. That's right. But as a CBS employee who just signed for yet another year at KR. One. This is the one and only, you better believe it, baby, Shotgun Tom Kelly. Well, you know, Randy, it's great to be here. We, it's, uh, you know, we, we couldn't be here last year. You couldn't? No. We, no, that's we, right. You but had now a... we're here this year. That's yes, all that counts. That's all that counts. Let's talk about being here, right here, right now. And, we're in the, uh, living in the moment. That's right. We're living right. in the moment. Now, and you, you have Christmas week off. How did you yes. manage that? Uh, well, I have a great program director who uh, yes. saw that I needed a little time off. <laughs> it was his kind way of saying it. But this is going to be a great year for me, as you know. I know you signed, so you're... Right? I did. It's a great year for L.A. because yes. you're going to be on the air. Yes, I'm, I'm... And a big year for you because you're getting your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that phenomenal? People are going to be stepping on you, throw, oh, throwing up on you on Saturday nights. All I have to say yes. after I get that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is, ladies and gentlemen, curb your dog. <laughs> I love it. And ladies and gentlemen, it's Big Daddy Don. Don is here. Uh, Dandy Don, the ice cream man. Oh, my God, I'm still laughing at uh, Shotgun's joke. That was so funny. He's very <laughs> wonderful. Now, Don is, is loved by all of us, We're even both. though he's in the ice cream world now. Yeah. Are your fingers cold? No, from dipping into the ice cream. No, I actually. There. Everything Dipping is great. What a great food. line. Yes. yes. My hands are very warm from shaking hands with everybody around this magnificent table. And well, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And once again, a great lunch, all kinds of great food. And Randy, you're doing a marvelous job. Don, you're wonderful. I think you have passed the audition. The problem is with ice cream, your heart is so warm, you just melt it all the time. Oh, thank you for great all those you, ideas. Thank you, Randy. Love you. Now, this is a guy who will tell you at any opportunity that he's Kurt Kelly. Well, thank you. Yes, I am Kurt Kelly. I get emails and, and updates from you all the time. I'm very proud of the fact that you're working, but he's, everyone else here is unemployed. But. <laughs> yes, and traveling the world and while doing, doing it. I saw something from Paramount or something you were doing? Yeah, we were doing a networking meeting on some films we're working on right now over at Paramount. I have no idea how those words all fit together, but it's a job and it Very means money. Very carefully, so yeah. Good. And still doing the voice work for Sony in India, so. Wow, Sony in India? Yeah. They actually speak English there on the movie channel. Wow. That's phenomenal. Hey, look at this face. Hey, yes. <laughs> look yeah. at this face. You a came face in late. Were you you're either the last late one here for this year uh, or you're early for next I, year? Both. Uh, oh, yes. both. Exactly. That's and right. where are you now? I'm here in L.A. I've uh, been a uh, web guy, started in radio for many years, and I've yes. uh, been uh, working, I worked in TV at uh, VH1 and NBC, and I've been a web guy now for a long time. Well, so. nobody can top that. Well, I don't know. So big national national credits. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, great right. to see you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. All right. Oh, look, look. Here's a man who actually dressed, showing respect <laughs> for, the, for the caliber of uh, people who have gathered here for for, for Art Volo at the radio lunch, Mike Kenosian, ladies oh, and gentlemen. thank you so much, Randy. Thank it's you, great Mike. to be here. Hard to believe Art's got a, a camera in his hand. It's, uh, Unbelievable. It, really, it's a good thing I was sitting down. You know, he, he, if life is through the viewfinder for Art. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, tell us something new and exciting in your life, Mike. Well, I'm working at uh, Radio Info and having a great time, also at Talkers Magazine. Yes. And uh, it's uh, it's a fun life, Randy. It's uh, it's a, it's a good life. Good. Well, How about happy. yourself? What are I'm you doing? I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled to be here. I'm uh, I'm here to prove there's life after Clear Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it to a vote, but okay, if yes. you say so. Cooking with Charlie Cook. <laughs>
<laughs> this man is, not that you're not legendary too, Mike, but this is a legend of uh, programming for sure. I mean, we were talking earlier about he being the last top 40 programmer for... Can't get this stuff at Radio Shack. <laughs> and now suddenly the lights went dark. You know, you know, in a restaurant where the lights get darker, the prices go up. Yes, right. And the food looks better, though. It does, too. And it, we it look better, too. <laughs> yeah. So There's Charlie Cook, I was just going to say, was the last uh, uh, music great, you know, top 40 CHR programmer for KHJs, well as many other stations. So we're happy to be in your home turf. Well, thank you. I, I've uh, relocated the last couple of years to Morgantown, West Virginia. My family still lives here in Los Angeles, so it gives me a good excuse to come home even though this would be enough of an excuse yeah it's great to look around this room and uh not be bothered by a bunch of young people. That's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. In the course of uh, the hour, we have to count everybody's trips to the men's room. You know. Yeah. It's, it's the prostate Olympics. <laughs> That's exactly. We have a return here now. Neil, did we talk a minute ago? No, we did not. No, that was a year ago. That when we get to this age, you know, it, it just starts. It doesn't seem like together. a year. I know. Neil Ross, ladies and gentlemen. I, I apologize. Uh, it's called prostate. Uh, That's right. We were just talking about prostate yeah. a moment ago. Oh, good. Well, let's talk about it yeah, some more. It's, it's a always big a it's, it's a, a fun, it's a, topic. It's a it's fun a large, topic. It's a large, large topic. Indeed. And uh, our claim to fame, even though we've never really worked together, is we see each other occasionally at after meetings. But more importantly, when I announce game shows on the Game Show Network, you're the voice that is of the network, I believe. Or is that still the case? Well, you're having an attack of deja vu. I oh. haven't been there for about 10 years. No. Maybe come I just on. made such an impression on you. That's Listen, it. I don't know why I keep coming to these events. <laughs> You're it's not getting called, work? It's called the Smokehouse. There's not a bong or a hookah. <laughs> There's no black light posters, no lava lamps. I mean, let me smoke a little, then I'll eat, yeah, okay? Put this guy's salad in a big paper, will you? Roll up this salad yeah, and, I, and light can it. Can I smoke this, please? And we're thrilled to have this man That's from Philadelphia, where we all know him from Wi-Fi, on to the, the architect oh, of K-Earth 101. Oh, please, Made it easy for the guy next to him, but uh, we'll get to that <laughs> point in a moment. This is Bob Hamilton, known affectionately as Hammy, and back now living in the Los Angeles area in the desert, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, Palm... Palm Springs. Palm all right. And P.S. P.S. I love you. Hammy. We That's love right. Hammy. <laughs> so tell us what you, uh, tell us something exciting. Uh, well, I'm living. Yes, that's always and, good. Uh, and how's your prostate? <laughs> Mine's still there. Oh, Thank very you. good. Yes, and we're happy to know that. <laughs> yes. And uh, Hammy was down in Florida for the longest time, living on the beach, years. living down in Fort Lauderdale, right on the right on the frickin' beach, right on the frickin' beach. If you were throwing a frisbee and you you know you shot a little long, you ended up in his front yard. He'd come out with throw 45s at you. Close. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the first testimony since the Paola hearings you've been involved in. No, no, no. 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 No, no. The star Ages of page ago. seven of Hitman, the book Hitman, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's Bob Hamilton, and we love him dearly. And how appropriate the segue to the program director now, presently of K-Earth 101, and Johnny K. Good to see and, you, sir. And you're half what you used to be. That's right. Uh, what you've done that's amazing is three times you've prov proven yourself to be an outstanding top-ranked, top-rated programmer in the same market. I'm a lucky guy. You I have great staff. Responsible for Coast 103. Well, and our dear friend Rod Roddy said when he programmed Coast, he made $150 a week or something like that. 15000 a year. Is that what it was? He, he had to work in, uh, he had to go up and do weekends at KSFO in San Francisco in order to, to go for it. Yeah. Money to live here. And you make that just for adding records. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and how much payola is there in all these? I, I never really knew. I'm, I'm not on page seven. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well said. Johnny K, the outstanding programmer of the century. I mean, really, to have three huge success stories in this market. Thank you. Thank you. Coast, The Wave, and K Earth. Now, they say that John Wayne Gacy had interesting things under his house. <laughs> but here's a guy with stuff that has really interesting things under his home. It's the greatest museum of rock and roll, radio memorabilia, and of course every hit record that ever was from the beginning of the Billboard charts. And many stiffs. Yes. Well, I haven't been stiff in a long time, but we're going to talk steady, steady. later. Steady, yeah. steady. Uh, Steve Resnick, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Resnick, how are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you very much.
much. His lovely wife uh, and I sort of work together on the Wink Martindale game show. That's right. And uh, your home, for those who haven't seen it, I mean, is just unbelievable. Give us a, a factoid about your museum. Well, it's an 18-room house. I'm lucky enough to have a very big house with four 40-foot underground basements that were built illegally by the first owner. And every room in the house has a different theme, and there's really 44 different places closets that open, secret passageways underground that have been built by contractors since I've lived there. Um, I have a hundred remote controls that turn on music surprisingly when you're not expecting it, or open doors, open windows, open passageways into a room that's only for the Beach Boys, a shrine to the Beach Boys, or a shrine to the Who. Uh, uh, yeah, so Elvis room. Elvis, there's Elvis room, there's Including four Beatles rooms. Including his death certificate and uh, the, the toxicology report. Correct. Yeah. It's the last will and testament of Elvis that was snuck out of a lawyer's office. So I'm lucky enough to have a lot of memorabilia that many people have, and a lot of memorabilia that's one of a kind. Very much so. Uh, and that's, of course, the more special stuff and and there's of the 6,000 pieces of memorabilia not to mention the records it's all the memorabilia that have been made by record companies to promote their artists so it's not anything that was ever bought on Hollywood uh, and Vine or, or Times Square promotional items very promotional yeah. and limited so really special for all of us especially us in the industry yeah but I invite everybody to come see it so uh, come on in, down. Fact, in fact Art and I have talked to this, this event right here might be at that museum next year well that would be awesome that's our plan Steve works at uh, Ramp I work at Ramp with Kevin and with a lifetime of record promotion behind him and now me behind you now ladies and germs is a man who needs no introduction unless you read the LA Times uh, you know right. you don't and know no one reads missing. the LA no Times one ever, I <laughs> use it under the birdcage right. introduce yourself I am Richard Wagner and you are totally the, unworthy of being here. No, I write the radio no. column for the Daily Breeze, Daily News, uh, Press Telegram, and a handful of other papers. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, I'm, I'm certainly not worthy of being here, but I'm kind of excited because I'm waiting until the fight starts between Bob and Johnny between, hey, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's oldies on parade weekend. No, it's alphabetical weekend. No, it's, it's songs you didn't remember weekend. Exactly. There you go. Well, great to see you. And speaking of Art Bolo, a friend of ours that goes way back to Ipsy and, and Detroit and, and all that, Jim yeah. Hampton. Thank you. Thank who you. Was, yeah, uh, yeah uh, the legend in Chicago, uh, was L.S., uh, if I yeah. recall correctly, and sure. kind enough to have hired me uh, the day after John Lennon was shot. Not, and no coincidence. No, 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 not no. I was on this coast. Actually, you were my alibi. <laughs> I was I was with Jim Hampton. There was no way I could have couldn't, been there. Couldn't have possibly done it. And I had the honor of working with Jim and uh, his uh, partner, Ken Draper, at Creative Factor for many years yeah. with Tom Chauvin. And uh, we had a good time, made some money, yeah. got crazy, and uh, had a, I just am very appreciative of the time we had together there. Well, it was, it was a fun time, too. You know, that was when uh, we were all learning how to do uh, what we do, you know, mm -hmm. and we made lots of mistakes and the mistakes were the best part of it. <laughs> you were a of joy to work with and a joy to work for oh, and uh, you. you were programming syndication uh, as well as providing the networks ABC, CBS with uh, their special program. With their radio shows, yeah. So. And now you started a new radio venture. Yeah, actually I did. I, I'm, I'm working with a group of uh, investors who are launching a Spanish radio network. See. Si. Muy bien. Yeah, muy, muy uh, yeah. spectacular. Very good. All right, Jim, I'm getting the move on sign. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello. Hello. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> news briefs, five minutes sooner <laughs> from ABC. <laughs> well, wherever. The one and only Bob Hart, ladies and gentlemen. I used to listen to the world's skinniest newsman. That's right. As, as uh, Danny Grimm used to call him at WABC, and I, I just, I wish I had a network feed just so, so I could hear you. So skinny, put a red yarmulke on his head and went to a party as a match, uh, matchstick. You know, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, the human Q-tip. Human Q-tip. We turn him sideways, and he says Eberhardt Faber. Uh, <laughs> no, did you make number two? Yes. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of pencils, yes. Uh, Bob has the, the best radio delivery for news I ever heard in my life. Made oh, the news exciting as hell. You're too kind. And no, I really, really enjoyed. It. And knowing that Ingram loved you made every Ingram lover love you indirectly. Well, he was he was one of the most professional people I ever worked with. I'm sorry to hear that he's not in. 
good health right now, yeah, but yeah. Uh, nobody will ever beat him. No one really. will ever no, be no, as great no, as, no, as no. he was. And uh, He's living out in the desert now, Palm Springs. Living out in the desert. traveled uh, uh, extensively. Just back from a two and a half week trip to uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and Myanmar, so, which we used to call Burma. So uh, so you have Malays. <laughs> Malays, yeah. yeah and right. that's where they do the Burma shave? Is that what that is? Well, no, actually they do Myanmar shave now. Oh, okay. See, <laughs> Very good. Right. I'm being told to move on, although I'd love Go to spend the time with you because Bob Hart. Very quickly. Yes. Uh, when uh, when uh, who went on strike? The postal workers went on strike, and you did a newscast oh, from the right. large post office next to Penn Station. That's right. I was a lieutenant in the Army Reserve, and my unit was activated during the mail strike. And uh, for three days, I was on active duty. And uh, I had my trusty TC-110. Remember Sony TC-110? Yes, so, yes. Okay, little cassette players. It was our, our tool of the trade. And so I just sat down there uh, and uh, recorded the intro to my 6 o'clock news the first night. And um, they took it back to the station, played it on the air, and then Jack Maher, my colleague, took over and did the rest of the newscast. I love it. You called him Jack, but on the air he was John, John Maher. John Maher. Fabulous. I could talk forever. And uh, But, you know... I'll have the chicken. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and a guy who worked down the hall when uh, Bob was at WABC and ABC Network, this guy was at uh, WPLJ. Well, that's right. I, and, and Pat that's right. John, Pat St. John, ladies and gentlemen, 40 years on New York radio? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 40 freaking years on New York. <laughs> Didn't you get time off for good behavior? Uh, I did this uh, this year. I did. Yes. That's yes. Why, why, how I'm able to be here with all these legends from this side of the this, uh, now this side of this big old town called the USA. Hey, you better believe it, baby. <laughs> Fabulous. It's, Pat, what, uh, who hired you at, uh, at BLJ? Was it like Alan Shaw? Or it it was, back that far? Well, yeah, it does go back to Alan Shaw. Alan Shaw came into Detroit and uh, and uh, interviewed me in a, in a hotel room. I was at, at, Is that uh, what they at called Rift. it in those days, an interview? Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you steal yeah. the towels? <laughs> no, it was just a lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just a lunch. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's how He was the architect, came. pretty much. He was, he was. The great Alan Shaw. He was just terrific and, uh, you know... Uh, 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 it was just, it was, it was, you know, a wonderful opportunity. And at that point, I had been in Detroit for, you know, a number of years, worked at some good stations and stuff, and and uh, that was my hometown. But boy, you know, when you get a chance to go to market number one, yeah. it's like you better decide, you know, you want to, <laughs> if you're serious about radio, which I was. And my mom and dad loved New York; they loved theater, and uh, they were all for it. And uh, you know, it was, it was great. And you know, 40 years. Forty years. Yeah. And that, so you'll and, be picking up the check, right? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm picking up the check, right? Yeah, I'll have the ch I'll have the ch uh, half a chicken. Half a chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm be again being told to move on. Pat, a pleasure to meet you and have you join the West Coast folks here. It's a pleasure to be here. And, uh, and thank PLJ, you. man, you, you were just, I mean, that station was so, so wonderful. Larry Berger, program director for a while. Yep. Or Larry yep. Upstate. Yep. 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 yep, yep, he fired me and I bless him every day for oh, doing so. God, love it. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, wow. Hi. Hey, look, hey. It's, it's this hey. guy again. Oh, not know, again. Not again. I, <laughs> from Ramp, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, speak your name. Kevin Carter. There you go. Thank he you. said it so much better. Thank you. Kevin Carter in the house. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. I just, uh, How's your you... prostate? I fine. <laughs> you want to feel? No, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 you got me on that one. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's hot here like... or what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, I, I once uh, met a proctologist who bit his fingernails. Uh, it's very, very, very scary. How brainy is this funny when he gets to me? Oh, yeah. I know. All the funny I'm counting on you. <laughs> counting on you. He's peaking right now. Yes. I, 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 at plus two, three dB, I'm peaking. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, since we saw you last year, what's new? Actually, I never left last year. You've been sitting here ever <laughs> no, since. No, Joel this, and I got an apartment. This we just, service uh, is that bad. No, we're right here. You know what? The food's good. It's warm. The it's bread nice. is awesome. No, we never left. The cheese really good. The lemons are fresh. Well, there you go. Then you, I, I, I hope to stay over sometime and oh, it's visit awesome. you here at the Oh, we love it. Yes. Come on in. It's, it's right. always, it's always open. Great to see you. And I love reading Ram. If you Thank haven't you. been reading Ramp every day, you're missing it, buddy. Get yourself Thank on that mailing you. list. It's awesome. And now, when you talk about people who love to talk about the business, here's a guy who's talking about all the talkers and all the jocks and all the radio stuff that's going on in the world. <laughs> 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 it's Denver. It's Joel Yo, Denver. how are you? Joel, what's Denver, up? Ladies and gentlemen, from, from, from a million radio stations. Wonderful, oh, yeah, a lot of me, me, and, me and you all went steady a lot. Yeah, yeah. The food's here. Right, okay, yeah. And, and, <laughs> Look, <laughs> 
years, <laughs> <laughs> years at R and R were fabulous. Right, 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 right. And uh, tell Art something he doesn't already know about you. Um, uh, something he doesn't know. no. Art knows everything about me. I mean, every. He's radio's best friend. He's coming to the Worldwide Radio Summit again this good, year good. in May. He's going to be videographing that for us at All Access and for our friends at uh, A and R Worldwide. Uh, you know, Shots is going to be there, you know, and and uh, you know we're we're expecting a nice turnout. And that's you know in your varied career, yes. on and off the air, behind us. Uh, Underneath the mic and all that stuff. What's what's the is there one great memory from that whole long time? One great memory. Yeah, I, I would hope there'd be at least one. Uh, I can't talk about that on video. Okay. I'm really sorry. At least it violates the terms of his parole. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's a face for it. No. Oh, yeah, no uh, what are you doing, Jack Silver? You know, Art Volo and I know one another uh, from way back. Jack what's Silver. What's your name? I'm Randy West. Okay, Randy. You're Jack Silver, and we're all here to play Password. Well, we're, very good. I just want to say I appreciate the invite. Hang Around, around with a bunch of radio legends. And, uh, you, you too, well, sir. I, I could hardly hold a candle to these these guys, uh, but uh, it's always good to see one well, another. You've done your time programming here in L.A. Yeah, yes, I have. You've done had, a good had, job. Had a good run at that stuff, yes. but, uh, you know, every once in a while, they uh, you got to you gotta stop and smell the rose a little bit, guys. Is that what I smell? Well, no, that's, uh, that's the prime oh, rib. That's the prime rib. All right, then I'll move well, on. Good, good to, to see you, Jack Silver, ladies and gentlemen. And now, look at that freaking oh. prime rib. Yeah. How many cows died for that? Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going right from here to Cedars. That's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. I, I could tell this, this thing is so raw, you could tell it was spayed when it was still alive. Yeah, well, welcome to the smokehouse. Welcome back to yeah. 1952. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and the food is that good. That old, though. It's the style here, the couch. Hi, Randy. Hi. It's, it's, well, how can I say? Ken Levine, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, radio legend, Beaver yeah. Cleaver. Yeah. Beaver Cleaver on the air. And Worst voice at this entire table. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you didn't need it because you actually had talent. Oh, uh, thank you, you Randy. Actually, you could actually write <laughs> stuff and think up stuff, and, and of course, that brought you to the fabulous career of writing for television. That's true. Well, Mad I found. Cheers. Keep going. Yeah, well, I found that the only way to get respect in radio was to get out of it. Get out. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we all got out of it what we could. Exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> Well, Ken, great to see you. Oh, it's and, uh, great to I see hope you. I hope we don't have to wait another year for you and I to break bread. Oh, thanks very much. And good luck on The Price is Right. Yeah! yeah. Come on down! Yes. Your prime rib is not nearly as spectacular as I know. Well, the good news is that St. Joe's is three blocks away. <laughs> so We get the rotor rooter right. going through your arteries. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Bob Moore. Yes, he is. Former general manager of Los Angeles Radio. Yes. Let's call letters. K. Well. We can start with K hits, yeah. oh. then we go to KLSX, That's then we go to KRLA, then we go to everything at CBS. Then you go to retirement. Right. Yeah. KLOS, KBC. Well, Bob's done some great stuff in this market, really has as a programmer. Well, I... Uh, and, 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 were you responsible for bringing Kalo Kalin to the air? Yes, I was. Well, moving on. Moving on. And a new face this year joining us. A face. And you'll never lose this jacket because it's checked. Uh, Howard Lapidus, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasure to be here. Thank it's you. It's our pleasure to have you, a newcomer to our, I actually, our I think crowd. I actually legend from Buffalo. From Buffalo. Well, I can start talking about Joey Reynolds and Danny Nevereth <laughs> yes, you and can. Rob Roddy and all that. Were you at KB? I, uh, I was actually at the McClendon operation. I, I was at KB when I was a little kid. I started there, actually. Uh -huh. And then went to WYSL. Yes, uh, Whistle. And, uh, and worked for uh, the great Michael Spears. Yes. Who I, I have nothing but great things to say about the, the Michael. was a wonderful and, man. And what brought you to L.A.? A, um, a plane, I, I uh, Yeah, it was Pan Am. I one-way ticket. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, I, I did that. Uh, I'm, I'm actually a, 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 a talent manager and, and a producer. Um, I had the pleasure of working uh, with uh, the great Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, wonderful! Uh, Adam Carolla, Carson 1130 Daly. Getting that 11:30. This time. Getting, he's going to 11:30. Yeah. Right? And now, uh, you know, for the last 21 years, building the Dr. Drew brand. Yes. And uh, Mike Catherwood. So we're having a, we're having a good time. Excellent. Yep. Glad to have you here. Well, now here's another guy. You came with Howard. Uh, no, uh, my name is Ron Escarcega. I'm program manager over at uh, KBC Radio. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. well, I should have I should have bowed with greater reverence before. <laughs> Yes, sir. And prior to that, I was at uh, CBS for 20 years. 20 years? Can't keep a job, huh? No, can't keep a job. <laughs> yeah, you saw the BS and you left CBS. Well, no, they they, they, they found the door for me. Did they really? Yeah. And what were you doing at the CBS? I was uh, operations manager for the uh, for the cluster. Oh, you were a cluster. Uh, yes, you're a yeah. cluster guy. Yeah. I almost said it. I almost said it. And did you say you're at KABC now? Currently at KABC. That's yeah. freaking phenomenal. Yeah. I, I know those letters. That was well, a What's great station that 
you're going to bring back to, to even greater greatness. Legendary call letters. Let's see if we can bring it back to what it was once before. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a thrill here. I've got to tell you, Art, you've done it again. All of us are here paying no attention to you because the food came. Randy West saying thank you and love you. And come on down. Hey, Randy, I'd like to come on down, but I came on up. And, you know, I'm moving on up. I'm in Las Vegas at the former Hilton. They renamed the hotel just for me. They're calling it the Las Vegas Hotel, but it's still the LVH because they could keep the initials on the towels that we are not supposed to take home. Now, we have a team of people who actually don't usually work. Yeah. Now, Mel has been here 40 years, right, in yes. this room. Yes. That's making my bed. Yes, I'm making your bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so now what, what do we do with Elvis? You had Elvis as, uh, as a client once? Yes. What I did, did you do? Uh, I did clean his room and uh, play with his daughter at the time when she was younger. Did he shoot the televisions when he didn't like the shows? That's what they said. I'm not in that room that time, but that's what they said. Well, did you come in and change the televisions? No, I did not, but they have engineered to change it. Right. And, and thank you for cleaning my room. Okay, All thank right? you so much. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice You're wonderful. You. Thank you. I, I'm Let taking you. them home with me because my toilet needs cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I want to be on YouTube. I had my YouTubes tied. <laughs> Back to past St. John and, uh, and the Motley Crew and Art Volo, too, with his uh, video habit who incidentally is going to tip these people for doing this thing today, <laughs> lavishly. What a time we had, what a time we had. I we, we, we didn't pay, they're in there paying. <laughs> we we guess snuck so. out a little early. Gotta tell you, I'm here with my buddy Pat St. John, you just saw him on the video as Randy West went around the entire table and got <laughs> to see everybody and talk to everybody. Was he a wit or what? He was really good, man, he was really good. How you remember all those names? Oh. I don't know, he's almost like you. <laughs> well, I told him he's so quick he should work for Nestle. And Anyway, so, oh. oh, I'm sorry, but we're here in Burbank and we had a good time. It's great to be on this in, side in, of this yeah, big old town in, called the USA. Pat St. John, who uh, started <laughs> his that. career. I got to remember that. He was still in <laughs> high school when he worked at CKLW in Detroit, for God's sake. And then he went on to New York, WPLJ, WNEW-FM, and of course, WCBS-FM. Of course, my, my buddy Jim Kerr and he both went to New York about the same time. I think you beat him by about a year. Oh, yeah. So you're getting ready to now celebrate 40 years. 40 years on New York, yeah. 40 you know, years let's not forget Sirius XM, too. And Sirius XM, that's right, big deal. And uh, unfortunately, Lou Simon wasn't with us today, and he wanted to be, but some big Something satellite happened. emergency Something came Something happened. Up. Yeah, uh, duty called. But anyway, Pat, thanks for coming all the way across the country. My pleasure. Thank you. You always throw a great party. <laughs> So we'll see you guys in. And for those, I got to find shotgun. He's yep. giving me a ride home. Oh, How he cool. is. That's How right. cool is He's that? inside, uh, finishing up the ice cream. <laughs> anyway. A tip of the hat to him, by <laughs> the way. I am just so excited. At least you're not crying. Art. I'm not crying. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy 2013. 13's your lucky number. All there right. You go. Unless you're keener 13, may it rest in peace. <laughs> may it rest in peace. Goodbye, everybody. Hours. All right. <laughs>